Reinventing Cities, a global competition for innovative, zero-carbon and resilient projects. Cities occupy 2% of the world's landmass. But in terms of climate impact, they leave an enormous footprint, accounting for more than 70% of the global CO2 emissions. Also, with 90% of the world's urban areas situated on coastlines, cities are at high risk of some of the most devastating impacts of climate change. The way we plan and build our cities today will define our cities of tomorrow. Zero carbon and climate resilient developments must become the norm, and it is therefore important that cities get it right. Reinventing cities in a nutshell. C40's Reinventing Cities is a global design competition that seeks to unlock underutilized spaces in cities and engage the private sector in decarbonized and resilient urban planning. Whether it's a small plot of land, a large new development area, or an abandoned building, the goal is to create reinvented, sustainable, and community-focused places. The competition comprises two phases. The first phase consists of the general expression of interest. At this point, teams get formed combining architects, developers, engineers, environmentalists, neighborhood groups, innovators, and artists. They submit their intentions and ideas for transforming the unused city spaces into models of sustainability and social inclusion. During the second phase, C40 and the participating cities form juries of experts to select three finalist teams for each site. These teams will be given the opportunity to work out their proposals into more detail by providing a clear and reliable carbon assessment of their project and precising their solutions to address the 10 challenges for climate defined by the competition guidelines. By making sure the project is well integrated into the local context, and by proposing a relevant bid to buy or lease the site from the city. At the end of the bidding process, the juries select the best project for each site with environmental and community benefits as primary considerations. And the winner is...